a cone of base circle diameter 60 mm and height 60 mm is resting on its base on HP. It is cut by an auxiliary inclined plane inclined at 75 degree to HP and passing through the apex. Draw the front view, sectional top view and true shape of the section. So here this is a problem involving a sectioning process. So the very first step is drawing the symbol front view and symbol top view of the given solid using type B lines that is continuous thin lines already I have done that step here. So the second step is locate the section plane. It is cut by an auxiliary inclined plane. So in this case this auxiliary inclined plane means it is a section plane itself because it is doing a cutting process. So it is cut by an auxiliary inclined plane inclined at 75 degree to HP and passing through the apex. So here the inclination of the auxiliary section plane or the cutting plane is mentioned with respect to HP. So this 75 degree with respect to HP it will be visible only in the front view. So whatever inclinations that are mentioned with respect to the horizontal plane it will be visible in the front view. So we have to represent the section plane in the front view itself. By default this section plane will be perpendicular to VP. So where the section plane is located? It is passing through the apex. So here the apex is point P. So it is passing through this point at an, and it is inclined at an angle of 75 degree with respect to the horizontal plane. Now let us construct a reference line through point P and this reference line we have to make it parallel to the XY line. So let us measure an angle of 75 using the protractor. Now let us construct the section plane at an angle of 75 degree with respect to the horizontal plane and passing through the apex of the cone. So we have located the section plane. It is a continuous thick line inside the solid. It is a chain line outside the solid. We have thickened the ends of the corresponding section plane. We have marked the inclination as 75 degrees and I have written it as VT. So this section plane, it will be meeting with the vertical plane because it is inclined to the horizontal plane and by default it will be perpendicular to the vertical plane. So when the sectioning process is happening, it will be cutting the solid like this. So when it is cutting the solid like this, it will be meeting with the vertical plane so that it is having a vertical trace. So after doing this step, the next step is mark the meeting points of the section plane with the various base surface and the various generators of the cone. So here, if you notice, it is not meeting with uh, the generators that we have drawn here. Generators are uh, PA, PB, PC, PD up to PH. So we have drawn around 8 generators. So as of now it is not meeting these 8 generators. It is actually having infinite number of generators. We have not drawn that much generators. So for the time being our section plane is not meeting with any of the generators. So here the section plane is meeting with the apex at a particular point. Already that point is P dash. So let us name this point one more time and let us name it as 1 dash. So this point that is the meeting point of the section plane with the apex let us mark it as 1 dash and here it is meeting with the base. So it is cutting the base. So it is cutting the base at F E and E D. So actually it is having two cutting points along the base out of which one will be visible and that visible point which is along FE, along FE, let us mark this point as 2 dash. So 2 dash is a visible meeting point and on the other side, that is on ED, we will be having one more meeting point which is invisible in the front view, let us mark it as 3 dash. So 3 dash is invisible and 2 dash is visible. 
Now let us transfer points 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash to the top view. 1 is on the apex itself. So this point itself will be point 1 and 2 and 3 are along the base. So let us transfer it by drawing projectors to the top view. So the visible meeting point is 2 dash. It is on FE. So this is FE. So this point will be 2 and the invisible meeting point 3 dash is on ED. So this is base ED. So this point is 3. Now let us join 1, 2, 3, 1 using straight lines. So in this case as uh, this cone is a curved surface 1 and 2 has to be joined using curved lines but as we are having only two points here we can join it using a straight line. 2 and 3 is along the base. So as the base is a flat surface, we can join it using straight lines. 1 and 3 is along the curved surface again. But as we are having only two points, let us mark it or let us join 1 and 3 using straight line itself. Now has the inside region of 1, 2, 3 and 1 using 45 degree lines. So after drawing the hatch lines, so 1, 2, 3, 1 is the sectioned surface. The next step is draw the remaining regions in the front view using type A lines and draw the remaining regions in the top view using type A lines. Now let us consider the front view. So let us assume that the portion that is on the right hand side of this section plane it is removed and on the left hand side it is remaining. So we have to draw the remaining regions of the solid using type A lines that is continuous thick lines. So let us do it. This forms the outline of the remaining regions in the front view. Now let us draw the remaining regions in the top view also. So in the top view, the outline of the top view is a circle. In this particular circle, the space that is between 2 and 3, this arc is actually removed. So this much area is removed. We are not supposed to draw it as dark line. The remaining region that is from 2 F G H up to 3, it is remaining. So we have to draw it using type A dark lines. So after drawing the remaining regions in the front view and top view, we have to think about the true shape of the section. So we are not able to get a clear idea of the section surface when you are observing it from the top. So that is in this particular direction because this section surface is an inclined surface. So in order to get a clear idea of the section surface, we have to visualize it in a direction that is perpendicular to the section plane. Here I have indicated an arrow, two arrowheads here. So it is in this particular direction. We have to visualize this solid to get a clear idea or the true shape of the section surface which is 1, 2, 3 when you are observing it in this particular direction perpendicular to the section plane. So in order to get a clear idea of the true shape of the section surface, we shall straighten the section plane which is inclined at an angle of 75 degree with respect to the horizontal plane. So we shall measure the length of the section plane which is inside the solid. So the distance between 1 dash and 2 dash. So it is approximately 67 or whatever value you are getting you take it as such. Now let us draw this 67 mm length parallel to the xy line onto the right side of the previous diagram. Let us mark this extreme end as 1 dash and the other end as 2 dash comma 3 dash. Now let us draw the true shape in the top view. So in order to draw the true shape in the top view, we have to extend projectors from 1, 2, 3 from the front view downwards and 1, 2, 3 from the previous top view to the right hand side.
After marking one, two, three, let us join it using thick lines. Now let us hatch the inside region of one, two, three, one using forty-five degree hatching lines. So let us have a quick review of the problem. So the first step is drawing the symbol front view and symbol top using type B lines, that is thin lines. After which we will be locating the section plane at an angle of 75 degree. Then mark the meeting points of the section plane with the various points of the solid. So here with the FX one dash on the base it is two dash three dash. Transfer one dash two dash three dash to the top view as one two three. Join this region using continuous thick line. Hatch the inside region using 45 degree line. And in order to get the true shape of the section, you are reconstructing this section plane onto the right hand side parallel to the XY line. And in order to get the actual true shape, you are extending projectors from this line downwards and from this one, two, three to the right hand side. So we'll be getting again one, two, three. Join it using thick lines as the inside region, so as to get the true shape. So in this case, this front view is known as a symbol front view. This is a sectional top view because the section surface is visible here. And after that, you have to do the dimensioning process also. In this case, we got the true shape. As a triangle, so why we got the true shape as a triangle here? So in this case, the sectioning plane is passing through the apex and it is cutting the base also. So in such kind of sectioning process, in which the section plane is passing through the apex and at the same time, if it is cutting the base, you will be getting the true shape as a triangle.